Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, ugh, we are talking about decor you don't need in your home. And you know, I'm gonna keep it 100% honest with you because I'm in my villain era right now. And I'm gonna tell you what you don't need because all of your friends are thinking it, but they're just too nice to say it to you. And I'm not. So the first thing we're talking about that you don't need in your home is actually all of the extra throw pillows. And I know it's like, extra throw pillows, like what do you mean we don't need that? I know it's not groundbreaking, but for some people you need to hear this. You do not need to have a ton of throw pillows. This is not a throw pillow factory. This is not a throw pillow showroom. And unfortunately, this is not the throw pillow section at Home Goods, which I do love, but I'm, I don't live there. I, I don't live in a throw pillow showroom. So your home doesn't need to look like that. There's a finite amount of pillows you need to have. Throw pillows, accent pillows, accessory pillows, whatever, you know, on your sofa, two, three, four is kind of pushing it, but that's where you leave it. And on your bed, look at this bed right here in this picture. Okay, we have normal pillows in the back. We have one pillow turned on its corner, which is, I, I can't even talk about right now. I don't like that. And I feel is a personal attack on me, but we're moving on. We have a, a lumbar pillow in front of it. And then we have two extra throw pillows on either side. Where are you putting the pillows when you're actually going to bed? Like, are you just throwing them on the floor? So now they're covered in dust and dirt and whatever is on your floor? Or do you have just like baskets sitting around and you're gonna have to have multiple with this many pillows? You don't have to have that many pillows. Less is more. It gets a little tacky. So I would rather see on a bed, if you want that really lush layered pillow look, give me some Euro shams, give me a couple of your normal pillows and then a lumbar. Or, you know, have your normal pillows stacked up behind and a couple of square pillows with a lumbar. That's perfect. You could like four throw pillows on the bed is the maximum, the absolute maximum you need. On my bed, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I have the pillows I sleep with and I have a small lumbar pillow and that's it, that's fine, that works. It's pretty, it's simple, it's clean, and it ties cohesively in with everything in my space. Now, if you are having an issue with your pillows and you're like, but Garrett, I need them all to match everything. No, you don't. What you need is a little bit of my help, and you can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me by using the link in the description box down below or going to intro.co slash Garrett LeChic. Something else you don't need in your home, your life, or your house is well, your home and your house are probably the same thing. So it, it doesn't matter. What you don't need are the extra branches. I know it was a big trend, okay? And we love a branch with, you know, some beautiful florals that are gonna bloom and whatever, but you don't need to have dead branches in your house. Okay, we could do better than that. We don't need to have dead branches. We don't need to have dead grass. I also don't wanna see dead flowers either, like that dried floral, like what's that dusty bouquet sitting there for? Give me life, give me energy, give me excitement, some greenery, some color. And I don't necessarily think every single floral arrangement has to be real. Uh, I think you can layer in some faux, some real, like for me, I like to have a lot of flowers in my house. So I'll have a faux arrangement here or there, but anywhere you're gonna be near the flowers, I want them to be real. That's just something to keep in mind. But you know, I don't think you need to have a bunch of branches. I think we've moved past that. And I think it also takes a large scale space to make that work because then, you know, the it's like having a giant tree in your house, right? It's just a lot of stuff happening. It kind of consumes the space. So if you've got a massive two story, for you're like you can go really big with a arrangement but if you're living in a space that's a little bit tighter a little bit more compact you have that standardized ceiling height you don't have to have you know three feet of branches in your house you could easily do a smaller arrangement that looks even more beautiful and by going slightly smaller you're going to make your space look even bigger i think that's something great too and there are certain styles and people that you know are going to love to have the branch and that's like their signature thing and i think that's okay like i even work with some clients who are like oh yeah you know i i have some branches here and, and there whatever and it works for them and i think that's what you really have to look for say like is this adding to my home and my style is it feeling right? Is it layering correctly? Or is it just giving like something is there, like some big branches? Like I felt like I needed something large scale there. So I got a big dead branch and put it there. Like you don't need that in your life. I think there are so many better things you could do or look for. Actually right now what's very in is like a resurgence of that 80s, like overwhelming kind of bouquet type 
floral arrangement. I like it. I think it's fun. I think it's a very statement piece, especially if you have a more minimal space or you're looking for something that makes a big statement and you can easily get inspiration online for what you're looking for, take it to a florist or, you know, I actually like doing that on my own. I think it's a fun hobby to have, like arranging flowers. So you can source them, you can find them, you can do that and do something fun like that. And I think that's great too. There are lots of options out there that don't involve a bunch of dead branches in a vase. Speaking of options, you have a lot of them out there and something you should execute the option on is subscribing and becoming a part of the Le Chic family. You have made it this far in this video, so you know that I am 100% accurate and correct and you agree with everything I'm saying, which is why like, we're obviously vibing. You should join us, hit the subscribe button, become a part of the Le Chic family, and give this video a like. It really helps us out as content creators a lot. Now that you have gotten it together and hit that subscribe button, let's talk about the next thing you don't need, and that is accent balls. I don't get what was with the accent balls. I was never really into it. And you know what I'm talking about. They're like, they're just, they're just like balls and they're kind of like styled or they've got some interesting thing happening. Like they'll be carved out of wood or they'll be a mosaic or, you know, there's even like moss balls. I don't like them. I don't get it. I don't understand what the craze behind this was or why people would think it's like necessary. I understand that it's like, oh, we have this big empty bowl. So let's put something in it. But why's it gotta be balls? And don't get me wrong, there's a time and a place for a good set of balls, but I just don't think in your decor is that place. So I would say, instead of having like balls in a vase, get a vase that just does whatever the balls are doing for you. And I, I think also if like, if you like the moss balls, put together a moss arrangement, that's pretty, it's simple, it has a little bit more of that minimal luxury feel than like some balls in a jar or a vase. Like, I don't, I never understood that. It was never for me. And I would see them there and be like, oh, look, there are some balls. And I would move past it. I don't think you need it. I don't think it's adding what you think it is. And I think it's unnecessary. I don't think it's serving a purpose. It doesn't, like, what is it doing for you, right? It's not giving us what, it's, it's, it has no purpose. Like, I don't know how better to say that than you don't need it because it's not doing anything for you. I would rather see, you know, a decorative box of some sort that could actually provide you a little bit of storage. Get a decorative box, like the one I have right here, and put this on your coffee table, put your TV remotes in it, and set coasters on top of it. That way, if someone wants to get to the remotes inside, they have to use a coaster first. I love that. And this one right here, I bought this at Home Goods a couple of years ago. I actually found them online and I will link them for you down below. It's this really pretty burl wood. And this is like a little tech accessory box. Like these are little muffler things for the lapel mic I use for filming videos. And I don't know, this is like a Velcro strap for it too. So that's convenient for me to have on my desk as I'm filming and getting ready for producing YouTube videos or content or whatever. So that's something that's actually very helpful for me as we're like some balls in a vase. Like I, now I can't use the vase. I can't put flowers in it. I can't make an arrangement. Like what is it doing for you? I don't think you need that. I think there are way better options out there to to enhance the space. Like I understand maybe there's something interesting. They have some detail you really like or they're a color that you're using to tie things together. Just get a vase that color. Just get a vase in that material or something that is a little bit more impactful or makes a little more sense than just something that is purely decorative and serves no purpose whatsoever in your home. Something you need to hear, you, you may not be prepared to hear it, but you will today and right now, is that you don't need to have fake flowers in your bathroom. I don't get it. I don't personally love fake flowers in the bathroom because one, you can't clean them and the bathroom is known for having bacteria, darling, that I don't want any involvement in. So like, I'm not gonna put something in there that's impossible to take care of, clean, sanitize, whatever. And I'm not putting fake flowers in there. Also, the fake flowers, like, why, does, why do they have to be in there? I feel like there are more useful things you could put into a bathroom that are beautiful and decorative, that give you that accessory feeling without it being fake flowers. Like, you could put a real floral arrangement in there. I think that's cool. You could put a live plant in there. That's great too. I guess you could put a fake plant in your bathroom also, but you know, it's kind of the same thing. It serves no purpose. So in a bathroom, if you have like two sinks, like a double vanity, between the sinks, I don't want to see a fake plant. I would rather see like a beautiful tray of some sort. You can put a his and hers fragrance there, hers and hers, his and his, whatever. Maybe you put your LED makeup mirror on that tray. You put some rolled up hand towels on it. Like there are things you're using in a bathroom that can be made to be beautiful and useful. Or you could even do a little setup with like, you know, small jars that have like cotton pads 
shortcuts and some Q-tips and useful things in them. I don't think you have to have things that make no sense. Why are you wasting space in your house with just stuff? Okay, I don't need to see it. I need usefulness in my home. Just like I said with the box like this, it's beautiful, it adds to my space, but it's useful. And that's what I wanna see from decor. And there's also something to be said for collections. I collect a lot of things and I love to see them or sculpture, artwork. That makes sense, but like, you're not gonna convince me that the fake flowers in the bathroom is artwork. Like, it's not. It doesn't even look good, let alone like art. So I don't think you need to have that. I think there are other things that are way better in your space. It's just one of those things like, you don't need it. Okay, you don't need it. Honestly, donate it to the thrift store because you don't need it in your house, you don't need it in your home, you don't need it in your life or your bathroom. So be on the lookout for things that are actually useful and cleanable to put into a space that needs that. Something that I have in my home that I've recently realized I really don't need and you don't either are little dishes, little trays, little catch-alls and what really made me realize that is this tray here, this little dish, okay? You know, I collect my Wedgwood pieces and I love them. This is a green one. And I was looking at it and I was like, oh, this is so interesting. And I saw these little cutouts on the side and it made me realize that like, most of these vintage little dishes and trays you're getting are ashtrays. Like this used to be an ashtray. Like that's what that's for. Like a cigarette used to sit there. Someone was like smoking and they put their cigarette there. I don't like that, okay? Um, I, well, I love this, but I don't think you need to have these in your home. I don't think it's absolutely necessary because one, I'm not using this for anything, okay? It's just a little dish that sits there and you could do something else. You could do something different. Um, and also it's, it used to be an ashtray. Like, I don't think anybody actually used this as an ashtray because it's too beautiful, but I, that's what it was intended for. Like, look at it, look at it. Okay, this used to be an ashtray. Most of those little vintage trinket dishes you're finding used to be that. Here's another one. <sighs> She's a little dusty, forgive me for that, but this is something, I, I love all of these little trays that have like these Greco-Roman details on them or like something classical. And so this is a really cool piece that I really love, but like this was probably for cigars. Like it's oversized, but the, the shape of this, like that's perfect for setting a cigar in. Like, that's probably what this was. It was an ashtray. Like, it's beautiful, but it was probably an ashtray. Like, what, what am I using this for? Like, there's nothing in here. And I have another one right here that it has a paper clip in it. Like, what, what am I using them for? Nothing, because there were probably ashtrays to begin with. You don't need to have that in your house, in your life, if you don't want it. If it's something that's like, I collect this. I actually, I bought a lot of things that this was just included in. So I didn't intentionally buy this. I just got a really good deal on something else and they like threw this in for free. So that's why I basically have this, but you don't have to. Like, don't spend a ton of money on this. Like it used to be an ashtray. It's not really serving any purpose. Maybe you need to have one ring dish in your house, like on your nightstand, by the sink in your bathroom. Okay, that's fine, but like you don't have to have a ton of them. So be careful with what you're doing. And if you're, it's not serving a purpose for you, if it has no usefulness to you, is it something you truly need? I like my decor to say something, to have a usefulness. Like I would rather find a coffee table book that had that same color rather than something you're not going to use or take advantage of. Like you don't have to have a ton of stuff absolutely everywhere unless it's something you truly, truly love that serves no purpose. You don't need to have it. Something else you don't need in your home are alcohol bottles on display. I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't think you need to have alcohol bottles on display because one, I'm not impressed. Like, it doesn't matter how expensive it is or how nice it is or whatever, I don't care. So, I, I also don't drink, but I don't care to see it. I don't think it looks great. I think it's something that's busy, but unnecessary. So, if you're that person that you like have a great bar and it's like lit bar behind you, or like it's a restaurant bar style that's like lit and everything, okay, that's cool, but, but you know, like I think that's the exception to the rule, but like everybody else, you need to tuck it away. Like, we don't need to see it. And if you have like a beautiful bar cart, let's think about decanting some things, but I don't think you need to have it on display. It's not impressive. I don't like seeing it. It's a little bit busy. So I think there are better options out there. For me, if I was gonna have a bar in my home, which I'm not going to because my husband and I don't drink, but that's beside the point. If I was gonna have a bar in my home, it would be like a casement piece of furniture that has like a fold down that tucks away that I don't have to look at all of it all the time. There are some really, really great and creative 
bar cabinets out there that are really beautiful. And honestly, it's like, I would probably buy one just to have the cabinet itself, not really caring about the actual bar, but like that's also beside the point. I don't think you need to have it on display. I don't like that. I would rather see the beautiful drink and glassware out on display, like, because that's just what I like, but I don't think you need to have alcohol bottles on display. I think they could be tucked away. They could be put in a cabinet and, you know, open the cabinet, set up your little bar station. Like that's cute but you don't need to see it all of the time. I think it can be put and tucked away. And I would even go as far as to say like wine bottles. I don't care about wine. I don't think a wine cellar is impressive. So I don't really wanna see it. Like if you have it, that's cool. And I think that's great. But like, I don't need to see it on display. Like, oh, she has so much wine. Like it's like, that's not impressive to me. So I would rather see something that's decorative and beautiful, that's simple and minimal, and that opens up and has something great in it, rather than having a ton of stuff on display. Because when you have a ton of stuff on display, it requires more work, more maintenance, more dusting, more care. And you, let me tell you what, you cannot clean a wine bottle rack. It's like almost impossible to get into all of the nooks and crannies and everything. So having that behind some doors will actually save you a lot of work because you need to spend more time dusting and less time drinking and that's for sure and i know some alcohol companies they like package their their beverages beautifully and in really gorgeous bottles but i would say unless those bottles are refillable once you're done with them we don't need to put them on display you can replace them with another bottle and recycle that and i think that's a better place for it than on display being empty or, or I guess you could decant something different into it and so people think they're drinking something more expensive than they are. I think that's kind of funny actually, but that's beside the point. I don't think you need to have empty alcohol bottles on display. I think that unless you know, you're actually using it, you don't need to have it. Now that we talked about some home decor you definitely don't need in your space and in your life, let's talk about expensive design that you don't need because it doesn't look good. Be sure you check out this video right over here and I will see you over there.